Have you ever wondered about the dramatic clash between an angry star and its planet? A young planet close to a red dwarf star changes in surprising ways each time it circles the star. When NASA's Hubble telescope first looked, it seemed the planet's atmosphere was safe. However, about a year and a half later, Hubble found that the star's strong energy waves, called stellar wind, were pulling away the planet's hydrogen air. The planet's enigmatic atmosphere presents a puzzle, undergoing dramatic shifts from orbit to orbit. But why is this red dwarf star unleashing its high-energy fury on its own planet? Join us in this video as we explore the astonishing observations made by NASA and uncover the mind-boggling mystery of an angry star. The Hubble telescope orbiting Earth can spot when a far-off planet passes between its star and Earth by catching the star's light. This movement makes the star seem a bit dimmer for a short time, signaling that something caused the brief dimming. This method is how scientists first found the planet Omike B in 2020. However, for that discovery, it was NASA's Spitzer and test telescopes that spotted it first. Now, though, Hubble gets to claim its own Omike system discovery. Researchers noticed something more interesting than just changes in starlight during a regular transit. By closely examining the light waves, they found the dimming of the starlight from Omike B much deeper than expected, going beyond the planet itself. It was not solely due to the planet passing in front of its star. Omike B revolves around its host star, Omike, every 8.46 days at a remarkably close distance of only 6 million miles, 9.6 million kilometers, roughly a tenth of the gap between Mercury and our Sun. It is merely 32 light years away from Earth. This star, categorized as a red dwarf, is famous for its intense nature and stands as one of the youngest known stars with an age of approximately 23 million years. Despite its proximity to the star, the planet experiences significant fluctuations in its atmospheric loss during each orbit. Red dwarfs, the dominant stellar entities within our Milky Way galaxy, are known for their intense magnetic fields and formidable stellar flares. These stars can unleash energy that surpasses our sun's outbursts by up to 1,000 times. It's 23 million years old, which is very, very young. Basically a toddler star, said Key Rockliffe, the first author of a study on the new Hubble findings and an exoplanet researcher at Dartmouth College. Astronomers are excited because Omike B is an example of what the young, tantrum-like years of a red dwarf, one of the most common types of stars in the Milky Way, are like. Surprisingly, the reason behind this cosmic activity is the material escaping from the planet's atmosphere, slowly fading into space. This unique finding shows a phenomenon called atmospheric evaporation which is caused by the powerful and high-energy bursts from the red dwarf star. Hubble's data showed that these strong energy bursts, termed stellar wind, were behind the change. The star's powerful radiation is stripping away the planet's atmosphere, leading to a turbulent setting. The scientists believe the changes in Omike B's vanishing atmosphere might be due to its unpredictable red dwarf star. Maybe a big energy burst from the star turned the escaping hydrogen invisible so it isn't visible in the light. Or perhaps the strong wind from the star affects how the planet's atmosphere drifts away, causing it to show up and vanish at different moments. What's fascinating about Omike B's atmosphere is how it doesn't always behave the same way. Sometimes, the star seems restless, impacting the planet, while at other moments, it's calm and doesn't cause any changes. Rockliffe and her team believe the planet's gravitational pull caused some of its material to break away from its core, leading to this escape. She described it as the material being dramatically swept off, offering us a mesmerizing look into the complex dance of this far-off cosmic pair. I remember when I first created the light curve of this planet with our Hubble data and saw that the transit happened well before the predicted transit of the planet, Rockliffe said. I immediately thought, well, I definitely made a mistake. However, no matter how many times I redid the analysis from different methods, the result was the same. For instance, when we first noticed atmospheric evaporation, it was in places called hot Jupiters. These are some of the most uncommon exoplanets in our galaxy. Think of them as Jupiter's hotter twins, because they're super close to their stars, making them incredibly warm. But here's the thing. We haven't found many of these hot Jupiters. To give you a clearer picture, 
Rockcliffe says that using such limited data to understand the whole process would be like using a financially affluent person's experience to extrapolate the typical experience of the middle class. Atmospheric escape, Rockcliffe explained, is potentially one of the most influential evolutionary processes for the majority of exoplanets. Essentially, this work could help scientists decode what worlds beyond our solar system are like, where they reside, and perhaps create guides to help us understand their nature. Red dwarf stars, the most common in our Milky Way, are believed to be home to many planets. Yet, the swift and unexpected changes we observe in these stars present a puzzling question for astronomers. Rockcliffe highlighted that there's a big mystery about how exoplanets might be losing their atmospheres. She shared, when we study these distant planets, one big question stands out. What's causing their atmospheres to disappear? Is it the powerful radiation from their star? Or could it be heat from the planet's own hot young core? It's noteworthy that this is the first instance where we've observed a planet's atmosphere escaping ahead of the planet itself. What's even more curious about the atmospheric changes in Omic B is their inconsistency. It's as if the star has mood swings. Sometimes it seems agitated and affects the planet, while at other moments, it's calm and undisturbed. My opinion or intuition is telling me this behavior is intricately tied to the atmosphere's interaction with Omic stellar winds, Rockcliffe said. Omic stellar winds might be causing turbulence as it interacts with the atmosphere causing this time-variable burping of hydrogen gas. She's also pondering the planet's distant future based on what Hubble has observed. While these ideas are still in the early stages, there are a couple of intriguing possibilities. If the planet loses its entire atmosphere and is stripped down to its core, it might resemble Mercury. However, if it retains some of its lower atmosphere, we could look at a world with unique atmospheric conditions, perhaps with dense clouds or even a different weather system. Omic B and its fiery host, Omic, remind us of the boundless wonders and mysteries that await us beyond our celestial neighborhood. Could the extreme behavior of red dwarf stars like Omic B impact the habitability of their planets, including the potential for life to emerge? As we continue to explore the vastness of space, the mysteries surrounding exoplanets and their stars remain a central focus of modern astrophysics. The study of exoplanets, planets located outside our solar system, has surged in the past few decades, revealing an astonishing array of strange and unusual worlds. While the discovery of planets orbiting stars similar to our Sun has garnered much attention, the most intriguing and often misunderstood planets are those that orbit red dwarf stars, such as Omic B. The properties of red dwarf stars and their influence on surrounding planets are at the forefront of current research. Red dwarfs, being the most common type of star in the Milky Way galaxy, make up about 70 to 80% of the stars in our galaxy. These stars are smaller, cooler, and less luminous than our sun, but they have extremely long lifespans, lasting tens to hundreds of billions of years. Despite their prevalence, red dwarfs present a variety of challenges for scientists trying to understand how planets in their habitable zones might support life, as their behavior is vastly different from our sun's. Unlike the sun, which is relatively stable, Red dwarfs are known for their violent nature. They are characterized by powerful solar flares and intense magnetic activity. These outbursts release vast amounts of radiation and energetic particles, which can have significant effects on planets orbiting too closely to their stars. For planets like Omic B, which is positioned at a dangerously close distance to its red dwarf parent star, these flares and stellar winds pose a real threat to atmospheric integrity. In fact, Scientists have observed that such stars can strip away the atmospheres of nearby planets, a phenomenon that could have profound consequences for the planet's ability to retain liquid water and, by extension, support life. The challenge for astronomers is understanding the exact processes that lead to this atmospheric erosion and how it varies from planet to planet. While planets closer to red dwarfs are more vulnerable to these effects, the interplay of factors such as a planet's size, magnetic field, and atmospheric composition can all influence the extent to which a planet's atmosphere is stripped away. For instance, planets with strong magnetic fields may be better equipped to defend themselves from the harsh radiation emitted by their stars, while those lacking such protection are more susceptible to atmospheric loss. One of the major puzzles that scientists face is how to determine whether a planet can hold on to its atmosphere over long periods. 
Some models suggest that planets orbiting red dwarfs could experience a runaway greenhouse effect, where the radiation from the star continually heats the planet's atmosphere, preventing the formation of a stable climate. This process could lead to a Venus-like scenario, where the planet becomes so hot that any potential for liquid water is lost, and any possibility for life is extinguished. Other planets may undergo a more gradual process of atmospheric escape, where the outer layers of the atmosphere are slowly eroded by stellar winds over billions of years. In either case, the fate of these planets is intrinsically tied to the behavior of their host stars. Despite the apparent challenges that red dwarfs pose to the habitability of planets in their vicinity, scientists are not entirely dismissive of the possibility that life could exist in these systems. Some researchers have suggested that even if planets in close orbit around red dwarfs lose their atmospheres, they may still harbor subsurface environments where life could potentially thrive. These underground habitats could be shielded from the harmful effects of stellar radiation, offering a refuge for microbial life or, in rare cases, more complex organisms. Additionally, the discovery of extremophiles on Earth Organisms that thrive in extreme conditions such as deep ocean vents or acidic hot springs has led scientists to broaden their definition of what constitutes a habitable environment. In some ways, red dwarf stars may even offer opportunities for life to develop in ways we have not yet imagined. For instance, the habitable zone around a red dwarf star, where conditions are right for liquid water to exist, is much closer to the star than it is for sun-like stars. This means that planets in the habitable zone of red dwarfs are likely tidally locked, meaning one side of the planet always faces the star, while the other remains in perpetual darkness. While this presents challenges for the planet's climate, it also creates unique environments, such as the possibility of vast, stable regions of liquid water near the planet's terminator line, the boundary between the day and night sides. These areas could be prime candidates for supporting life, and they may be far more stable than the rapidly changing conditions on the planet's sun-facing or dark side. Additionally, the frequent stellar flares emitted by red dwarfs could provide a different kind of energy source for life forms. On Earth, solar flares are associated with space weather events, but these phenomena are much more common and intense around red dwarfs. Some scientists hypothesize that the energetic radiation from these flares could potentially drive chemical reactions that might be beneficial to life acting as a catalyst for complex biochemistry in ways we do not yet fully understand. As astronomers continue to observe red dwarf systems with increasingly sophisticated tools, new insights are emerging about the potential for life in these distant worlds. Advances in telescope technology, such as the launch of the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, are providing unprecedented views of exoplanets in the habitable zones of red dwarfs. The JWST's ability to analyze the composition of distant atmospheres and detect the presence of chemicals such as methane, carbon dioxide, and oxygen could help scientists determine whether these planets have the right conditions for life. If the signs of life are detected, it would be a groundbreaking discovery, potentially opening the door to a new era in our search for extraterrestrial life. In the meantime, Researchers are focused on studying the behavior of red dwarf stars in even greater detail. By understanding how these stars interact with their planets, scientists hope to unlock the secrets of planetary formation and evolution. For example, by studying the magnetic fields of red dwarfs and how they influence planetary atmospheres, researchers can gain insights into the conditions necessary for life to flourish on exoplanets. Furthermore, the study of planets like Omike B provides a unique opportunity to observe the effects of stellar winds and radiation on a planet's atmosphere in real time, offering valuable data that can be applied to other planetary systems. As we continue to look beyond our own solar system, the potential for discovering habitable planets around red dwarfs is an exciting prospect. While the harsh conditions posed by these stars may limit the possibilities for life in some cases, they may also reveal entirely new forms of life and environments that we have yet to imagine. The study of red dwarfs and their planets is not only advancing our understanding of the cosmos, but also expanding the boundaries of what we know about the potential for life in the universe. Whether or not these distant worlds can support life remains to be seen, but the journey of discovery is just beginning. In conclusion, the quest to understand the relationship between red dwarf stars and their planets is a key aspect of modern astrophysical research. As technology continues to advance, 
we can expect to learn more about the complex and sometimes volatile interactions between these stars and their planets. The story of planets like Omic B, with its dramatic atmospheric changes, is just one example of the many mysteries that await us in the far reaches of space. While these findings may challenge our understanding of what makes a planet habitable, they also remind us of the boundless possibilities that exist in the vast universe.